Reporting to you live from the Chinese New Year Oil here at Foodie World. It's live from last week's episode 108. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Today, not feeling 100%, which I'm thinking actually started over the weekend, stuffing myself with all this glorious food that we had over at the chalet. I was having a little bit of a GI ailment that left me feeling fatigued, having a sour tummy, and not the greatest appetite. But either way, earlier today, we had lunch at a place that we haven't been to in months. Meeting up with the parents, catching up with them, and having some delicious food at the nearby Lee's Haka number one. Including one of our favorite dishes here, one that you must try called the lollipop chicken. Wow. And afterwards, we walked to the Filipino store across the street called Tagbuan to look for some dessert after our meal, taking home this box of conchinta, one of my favorites from when I was younger. And when I got home and started to enjoy this delicious dessert, I was also reminded that I received something recently in the mail. An envelope that was addressed from one of my friends that I made when I traveled with my buddy Ronnie overseas to Mallorca a couple years back. So let's go see what's inside this baby. Wow, so cool. And blown away, this is what it read. Dear Jay, I hope you have a holiday season that is merry and bright. May your new year be filled with many new adventures. Who knows, we may just run into each other on the bus again, LOL. Hope all is well, warm wishes, the American on the bus in Mallorca. Smiley face, Amber. Thanks again for this thoughtful gift, Amber. Anyways, before wrapping it up for the night, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my cousins in the Philippines. This birthday shout out goes out to you, RG. Happy birthday, RG. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my FSAT fans who has one of the most talented voices that I've ever heard sing. This birthday shout out goes out to you, friends. Happy birthday, friends. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my other FSAT friends who I'm remembering tutoring with us back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my St. Stephen's classmates back in high school. This birthday greeting goes out to you, George. Happy birthday, George. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So passing out late last night, sleeping on the couch so that I can get up early to drive the wife to her day shift this morning, I only got this much sleep. But miraculously, when I got back to the condo, I was able to pass out for several more hours, catching up on all the lost sleep that I've had over the past couple of days. But while I'm still not feeling 100%, I did manage to take a couple of meds to help relieve my GI symptoms before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts tonight. But before I do that, I have some birthday greetings to a couple friends from high school, with the first one going out to Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Also, a birthday shout out to another classmate of mine from back in my HT days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. And lastly, a birthday shout out to my former Wysig neighbor who taught me the Shakira Waka Waka dance. This birthday greeting goes out to you Nadine. Happy birthday Nadine. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night before my shift, I decided to hop onto the stationary bike to get a quick workout in. Doing a short 30 minute cycle, getting back to working on my fitness a bit. I also took the opportunity after my night shift this morning, getting more exercise, walking down more than 10 sets of stairs to the lobby instead of taking the elevator. And after a pretty decent post night shift nap, when I got back to the condo, I was back on the stationary bike for another session while editing some live from last week footage in between night shifts. And guys, I can see that I'm getting back to my healthy habits again which was started by doing one little thing at a time. 
And another cool thing to share with you guys in between my shifts. Looking back to a couple of these scenes from previous Live From Last Week episodes in the past. While doing some morning grocery shopping at No Frills. Guess who I got to see once again on my commute home for the first time this year. That's right, I was definitely surprised to see this gentleman riding on his morning stroll with his green covered scooter. There he is! Haha, <laughs> found him! This morning. And upon arriving home this morning, I was greeted by yet another surprise. This envelope addressed to the wife and I. And throwing back to these clips from this fun episode from back in the summer, we received these holiday greeting cards and photos from the wedding of our longtime friend couple, Royce and Liza. So thanks again, Royce and Liza, for those season's greetings. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed your quick cameo in this year's Live From Last Week intro. And we're also hoping to reunite and catch up with you guys sometime in the near future. Anyways, before I head back downtown for my second night shift tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to a fellow YouTuber and a friend that I had back in my days at YSIG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Philip. Happy birthday, Phil. We've also got a birthday shout out to a crazy athletic brother of mine who I miss playing beach volleyball alongside with back at Ash Bridges. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maddie. Happy birthday, Maddie. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to my ate who takes the best candid Polaroid photos of me and the wife back at our celebration at Ronnie's. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anna. Happy birthday, Anna. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. In case you guys didn't know, today is Friday the 13th. A day on the calendar where people celebrate superstitions and events of bad luck. In my case, I was supposed to have tonight off and spend some time outside of work with my coworkers, as well as make a music video for you guys to check out our adventures. But unfortunately, I was booked to come into work without my previous knowledge, and we'll have to come in tonight for one more night shift instead. But either way, I'm hoping that tonight's night shift will go smoothly and I'm hoping that my coworkers will take lots of videos and photos of their fun night out without me. Anyways, commuting back home this morning, I was greeted with all these beautiful winter wonderland scenes on the DVP, in Toronto, and in the Scarborough area. Including this video of how it looked like outside my condo window. And therefore announcing that we have our official first snowfall of 20. 23. But moving on, after getting a decent post night shift nap session in today, and before going in for my third night shift in a row tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sasha. Happy birthday, Sasha. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So luckily, on my Friday the 13th night shift last night, nothing too serious happened. And another thing that was lucky when I went back to the parking garage after my shift, I saw this beautiful specimen of a mini parked right beside my own baby mini. Speaking of which, my luck continued with my mini running low on gas on my morning commute, only having about two kilometers left in the tank. I managed to find a gas station to fill my baby mini at. But there was one thing that had me unlucky today, where I was unable to sleep in and only having just over an hour of a nap after my shift. So I just decided to get up and be productive, hopping on the stationary bike, exercising for about the same amount of time as I was able to sleep this afternoon. And throwing back to this episode from before Christmas, I'm here at the Scarborough Town Center to help the wife get a new replacement set of glasses and replace the broken ones that she had from earlier this week. We returned to Scarborough Town Center for the wife to pick up her long-awaited glasses. Oh, you're not gonna wear your glasses? Well, I have my contacts on. Okay, not gonna wear your glasses. How is her contacts on still? And after being hungry and seeing one of my friend's Facebook posts of having a shawarma pizza, the wife and I celebrated her getting new glasses by going to the local Johnny Shawarma near Kennedy and Ellesmere in Scarborough buying their chicken and beef shawarma plates. Drink. And your drink.
and after getting home, having the wife do a little fashion show with her new glasses for me. Are you ready for your new wife? Wow. <laughs> Looks good. Looks nice. Wow, it's so, I was going to say, so slimming. <laughs> we enjoyed these shawarma dishes for dinner at the condo. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And for dessert, just like we did in previous years, as you guys can see here. We also saw that the Miss Universe competition was going on earlier tonight. And of course, with Miss Philippines being in the running, it's a yearly TV event that we rarely miss. We were able to catch one of our favorite pastimes on TV that we try to view whenever we can. Watching the 71st Miss Universe competition set this year in New Orleans. Nicole, who's the last? Up. Who's the last one? Over there, Dominican Republic. Oh, you got it right! Oh, I got 30%. Wow, you predicted Dominican. 33%. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, look at her. Oh, she looks like the next Miss Universe. They all have that feel. <laughs> Top three picks, Dominican, U.S. and Venezuela. U.S. <laughs> U.S. is in. Oh my gosh. Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, we're three for three. Predict this. Okay, final pick. Who do you think is gonna win? I think USA. USA had probably the best answer, but I want Venezuela to win. Because of that dress? <laughs> Alright, let's see who wins. USA! I Yay! found it all, I found it all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, we have several birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first one going out to one of my beach volleyball friends, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers back at the hospital. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amanda. Happy birthday, Amanda. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my titas in the Philippines. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tita Mar. Happy birthday, Tita Mar. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I've traveled to Costa Rica with back in that group several years ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Monica. Happy birthday, Monica. Next up, a birthday shout out to a couple of my FCAR friends out there. We got a birthday greeting to Daniel. Happy birthday, Daniel. And a birthday shout out to Angela. Happy birthday, Angela. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who, when he wanted to get my attention in the hallways, would call me Jerry. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Thomas. Happy birthday, Thomas. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After passing out after a fun time watching the Miss Universe competition last night, with congratulations, by the way, to Miss USA, who is the first ever Filipina-American woman to ever win the title. I had a decent sleep, waking up early before the sunrise to fix the mini's car key, because last night it just wasn't working. And after changing the battery out of this child-proof package, the wife and I, with our car keys working just like new again, the mini's car keys work, yay! went for lunch at one of the hotspots that we like to go to, a place that we visited for the first time since this episode of Live From Last Week, the one and only perfect Chinese restaurant in Scarborough. Oh, here they are. Is that one? <laughs> to not only have lunch with our family, Tito Jesse, Tita Utz, Tita Mone, and Tito Eddie, later joined by Alba and my nephew Gabby, but to hang out and catch up with them over some Chinese dim sum.
Yo, where did he go? I can't see him. Magic trick. The wife and I then made our way to Markham to visit my Kuya John and Ate Shah, as well as our nephew Jared to deliver him this present that we got at the Lego store a couple weeks back, which by the way, at that time, was out of stock all over Canada. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought he was out of stock. We had to look for it. I had to go all the way to Alberta. Okay. Yep. <laughs> True story. Yeah. I'll be coming over. Sure. Yes, let us know when you get a movie in for free on the single house. We next checked out Foodie World to check out their Chinese New Year displays. Can you see the rabbits? Which rabbit, which rabbit do you want? <laughs> These ones, like, you can hang? That's cool. And all these fun things that we found on the shelves. Yo, Dial, I found your drink. But that's not a picture of you. And afterwards, to wrap up the evening, the wife and I headed to local Sunday night Catholic Mass, back in Scarborough at the St. Lawrence Martyr Parish, then back home to the condo to enjoy this watermelon beer beverage that the sister gave us over the holidays. How is it? Mmm, interesting. Thanks for the Christmas gift, Nika. Watermelon beer tastes like watermelon gone bad. Mmm, it's weird. <laughs> but before finishing it up for the night, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends that I've known since Miss Mercer's grade 3 class. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Georgette. Happy birthday, Georgette. As well, we got a birthday shout out to my niece who I've seen grow up in front of my eyes over the past couple of years. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kay. Happy birthday, Kay. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, waking up this morning feeling nice and refreshed, getting a decent amount of sleep last night, while multitasking, eating breakfast, and editing videos, I got a nice morning workout in on the stationary bike for just over an hour. And a revelation for me to get back into shape and lose a little bit of weight was that if you guys can recall when I went into the hot tub last weekend at the chalet, I had a little bit of trouble fitting in to these babies. My swimming trunks that I've been able to fit in for years until, well, this past year where my belly won't even let me squeeze into them anymore. So my goal is to be able to fit back into these shorts again and just to be able to use them once again when summertime comes back around. Anyways, before I go in for my night shift tonight, where I start off doing five shifts in the span of seven days, we have a couple of birthday greetings today starting off with my cousin Tanya. Happy birthday Tanya! As well as another quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who I used to work with Back in the day, this birthday greeting goes out to you, Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And yeah, guys, giving a quick big heads up here, we have some big news to tell you all. Something that we've actually been working on for the past couple of years. So I'm hoping that you guys will tune in to next week's episode to find out what that surprise actually is. But for now, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.